What's going on everybody? Spaceballs here. Welcome back to another clip of Chris the Guardian's video. Today guys we are doing a massive summoning session. The patch just hit and you know Spaceballs always thinks his luck is better on patch days even though it hasn't been. If you watch my last video you'll know what I'm talking about and my other summoning videos before that we our luck has actually went a little bit down but that is okay. We are going to test our luck once again because I always felt like on patch days just I don't know I feel like the luck is just better sometimes. I just feel that way. I don't know why. It's just something in my head. We got the bulldog shirt on. We got the bulldog luck. We got the baby sleeping behind us. We got everything in our court. So here we go. We got a massive one for you guys today. We got four legendaries. Ten LDs. Now guys, I know Odin is coming tomorrow. But I only have one LD Nat 5. And the chances of me even pulling an LD Nat 5. Let alone it being a dupe Loki. It's like slim to none, so I'm not really worried about the 400% Odin. Even though Odin would be really awesome to have, I would much rather have a Titan or a Poseidon much more than Odin or even a Monkey King at that point. So I don't mind doing the LD summons. I feel like the chances of us getting something anyways is very low. And then we got 200 Mystics. We're not going to do any of these um, Chaotic, Lawful, or Evil. We're looking for a Noctora. Um, number one, Master Teo. He's at the top of the list now. Genie and then Noctora. I actually really do want a Noctora. I've been facing her in Arena and stuff, and she actually hits really, really hard. And I and I hear that she's really good in Hydra, which I am currently working on my Hydra team. And I feel like I heard that she's also really good in um, the Lair, in Lair content as well. But with no further ado, guys, let's get into it. I made plenty of space, as much space as I possibly could. And we got exactly 200. And so we'll only have to make space probably once during this video, which is pretty good. Let's see if our luck can get better. Started off with a Thorn Spirit. You actually get her in your daily rewards now. You actually get a Thorn Spirit. Jungle Heart. Okay, that's... Uh, I guess that's a good start. Hey, We started with a gold, right? Can't complain. Started with a gold. I would love... I would be so happy... If we can get the new... Now we get Centaurs. Now that I don't need Centaurs, Spaceballs is going to get a ton of Centaurs. You guys watch. We don't need them because I used the two skill cats to finish off my Centaur. And now that I did that, we're going to get a million Centaurs. That's just the way this game is. But I would just love to get a new unit right away because I feel like I never get the new unit like the day it comes out. And I always try to get it, but it just never happens for me. Same thing with like Bone King. I couldn't get him for the life of me for like the first week. And then all of a sudden, now all I pull is Bone Kings. <laughs> it's kind of funny how that works. I actually need some Paladins. I need some skill ups for him. But that is pretty good. So far, the, the patch seems good. Everything seems to be working well. I did check the Succubus. Popo. He will be a convert for sure. I already have a po two Popos. Both of them are sanctified. No, wait. No, only one is sanctified, but I have... I have one in my storage, and I don't even use the Popo. To be honest with you, I don't really use Popo that much. Very good pull. If you're early game, he's actually a very good pull. Maybe I can do some, like, troll teams with, like, three Popos or four Popos or something. But he'll probably be the one I use for converts. We might even do some converting in this video, to be honest with you. Because we have, like, three or four converts. I'm not sure. What would we say? Yeah, we almost have three converts. So depending on if we get Master Teo or not, we might do some converting, too. But we'll see. Let's see what happens. We still got a ton of summons, so you never know. But hey, we started off in the first 40 with a Popo. I'll take it. Palanid is going to be our Nat 4 of the day. Here we go. Bunch of mummies. Windwalker. Believe it or not, I built like 6 Windwalkers, and they're all fully skilled up, so I definitely do not win need Windwalker. Because she drops in um, Backpool Hills. I definitely don't need Windwalkers. I'm really just hoping for Master Tail. I really just want Master Tail. That would really make me so happy after what happened before. Here we go with the Centaurs, guys. Here we go. It's like you use skill caps, and now you can have as many Centaurs as you want. Now you can have tons of Centaurs because you don't need them anymore. <laughs> just so funny how these gacha games work. It really is. It makes you laugh sometimes. You got to laugh, otherwise you'll cry, literally. <laughs> it's like if you don't laugh, you'll cry. It's just so funny how it works sometimes. But yeah, I would love to get Master Teo. I really would. That would make... I'll take that. I was just going to say, Master Teo or Genie. I'll take that. I will take the Genie. I'm very happy. But you see, the first week we couldn't get him. 
now that he's in the game a little bit, there he is. Now we'll get him. So very happy about this guy. He's very happy. I've been seeing him a lot. Um, I'm not, I don't think he's as good as everybody thought he was going to be. A lot of people thought that he was going to be pretty broken. But from what I'm hearing, I don't know for sure because I haven't tested him. But from what I'm hearing, he's not as broken as people thought he was going to be. So we'll have to test him out. We'll have to test him out. I'm definitely going to build him. Definitely going to do a um, some gameplay with him for you guys. That's why I love pulling these new units. So we can go over them together, check them out, see how they work, see what they do. I actually did go up one in, what was it? I went up in a guild war. I went up one against one in a guild war. And he actually wrecked me. But I wasn't using a great team. I was just using like a basic team. And he actually wrecked me. But I'm very happy to get him. Good way to start. We already got two nat fives. We are on fire. See, this is why I like summoning on patch day. Hey, if you can't get uh, rune luck on patch day, maybe you'll get some summoning luck. But here we go. I think we could do 20 more after this, and then we got to make some space. Mr. Fortune, I need some Fortune skill ups. That's okay. I, I'm pretty much building every single monster at this point just to have it built for Guild Wars. And so we can do, because this week I want to start doing champion spotlights. I really want to pretty much do one every single day to really start getting them out there. I did some um, work in my power director. I made this nice sheet with all like the runes so I could put the, the monster on the sheet. I could put the rune sets that he goes with. I got, I've been doing a lot of work because I really want to start doing champion spotlights. So don't worry, that is coming soon. But here we go. We can actually do 40 more, uh, 30 more before we have to make space. I always forget that it's 120. Or two, there he is. You need a skill up, you're going to get a skill up. Ogre, mine's fully skilled up. I was thinking about build, building a second one, to be honest with you, for Guild Wars, because he's actually really good. And this passive is actually pretty good too, believe it or not. This actually does pretty big damage. So like if he if somebody brings a cleave team and they think that you're using this passive, but you're using this passive, you can actually probably like one shot their whole cleave team. So I, I definitely want to start playing around with that. My nose is like so stuffy today, guys. I don't know what's wrong with my nose. I had the computer guy here all day yesterday. That's why I didn't put up a video yesterday. Here's another one. Um, not the computer guy. I had a friend come over. I don't know if I, if you guys remember, but Brian, he's the one that fixed my camera the first time. He actually came over yesterday and he spent like 15 hours here. And this man fixed everything. Like he fixed me up. I'm so appreciative. I tried to give him like a couple hundred bucks. He wouldn't take it. So I told him I'd buy him dinner one of these days. But this man fixed everything. My CPU is back to 2%, like 2, uh, 2.0%, like it should be. My camera's working beautiful now. Like he just fixed everything. I'm so happy, like now I'm just back to normal. I'm still going to get a second computer down the line, it's just I didn't want to have to get one until I started streaming. But I'm so thankful to have friends like Brian. Brian, thank you so much. You saved me so much stress. Yes, it, it, he was here for like, good. he really spent a lot of time. He organized all my stuff. He made all my folders, like he made so all my stuff saved in certain folders. Like he really hooked me up. And like if he would have did that, like, because like that's what he does for a living. Like he does like computer repairs and fixes and stuff like that and I feel like if you would have done that for somebody 14 hours probably could have got like two thousand dollars for that so I really do appreciate it Brian I know that you said you've been watching some of my videos here and there so if you happen to watch this video thank you so much I appreciate you and I love you just like I love everybody but let's make space I'll be right back and poof there's your space all right guys here we go 90 more then we got LDs which I don't think we're gonna get anything from we never do I feel like we, I have like the worst LD luck. And I know looking at my account, you say, oh, well, you have Loki, but I don't know. I've seen people like Mephistopheles, like that man has just, when I did his summons, he got nothing. When he does his summons, he pulls LD and F5s like it's his job. Wisp is good. I need some skill ups for her. Can never have enough flame spirits. It's, it takes, I have two of them that I'm using and I need so many skill ups for them. So I'll definitely take the flame spirits. Definitely happy about that. I'm still happy about the genie guys, believe it or not. That's why I'm smiling, because I'm, I'm just happy to get a new unit. Because, like, you know, the way my monster box looks, like, there's there's just so many units I can get now, you know, like. So it's either the, the new unit, or, yeah, just pretty much new unit. Because genie is new, except for Noctora. Noctora is the only thing that's eluded me, except for the Mountain King, but we got him now. But other than that, Noctora is the only, and I pull Noctora like crazy on other people's accounts. Just not on my own. Again, I feel like that is just like a, it's just 
like an RNG thing. Like, it's like how they keep you spending in these games. They always keep like, you know, same thing with the runes. They give you a legendary rune, but then it rolls to like be a common rune. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, I hope you guys are having a great Friday so far. Um, Shield Guardian, you know what? I've been building him and I think a lot of people sleep on him. He's actually so good. He's so good for so many different things. So I've definitely been building mine and he's defense based. I think same thing like Olger and and these are all craftable. And the Minotaur Chief, same thing with him. Like they're all craftable, but they're all really good um four stars. They really are. They're solid. You can pretty much use them anywhere in the game. You know, especially if you're free to play. Especially if you're free to play. It looks like we're falling off now. We were doing good. We pulled we, I mean, we already pulled two nat five, so we really couldn't ask for anything more out of these mystics because we're already pretty much ahead of the rates at this point. And if we don't pull another one, we just break even. So that's okay. I'll take it. Be nice to get another one though. Vampire. I do need some vampire skill ups for this skill right here, especially now that you can use this skill on Bone Kings and Succubuses. You are definitely going to be seeing the vampire a lot more in Arena. Trust me on that one. Because before it was kind of useless to use him against a succubus team because for some reason if it was on her the succubus would die but she would still proc her passive. I'm not, I guess it was just like a bug or something. I'm not sure why it was just doing it but it was definitely doing it. Same thing with the Bone King. There's the Centaur we don't need. That's okay. I'll use him as food. Holy Swordsman. That's good because for some reason I, I still need so many. I still need like I think I counted it the other day. I need 18 Holy Swordsmans to finish skilling out my Holy Swordsmans. Even though I'm going to be switching my, my lair teams to the uh, Bone King team. I think in Evil I'm still going to use Holy Swordsmans. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Okay, 30 more. Come on, give us one more. Let's kill the rates. Let's kill the Mystic rates. At least make me happy. <laughs> That's one thing we're good at. It's killing the Dragoon. I'll take that. That's my third. I just sanctified my other one. You guys know that. I wonder if you can pull... Has anybody ever... Let me know in the comments. Has anybody ever pulled two Nat 5s in the same tent pull? I would love to know that. Has anybody ever pulled two Nat 5s in the same tent pull? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know that because is I don't know if it's pot like theoretically theor 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 wow. Theor theor I can't say it. It's a tongue twister. <laughs> I'm just embarrassing myself right now. <laughs> theor theoretically <laughs> I I feel like <laughs> I don't know why I can't say that word. You should be able to. I'm gonna I'm gonna get off that, but you should be able to. But yet I feel like it, it never happens. I feel like it never happens. And I would love to know if somebody has pulled um two Nat fives in the same pull. That would be awesome to know. I don't know why I couldn't just say that word. I, sometimes I get like weird like that. I get like tongue like tongue twist me. I don't know, that was weird. But I'll take it. I'll build the second one for Guild Wars. I'm very Guild War focused right now. So I'll definitely take it. Okay, 20 more. But with killing the odds, that's 3 and 200. I'll take it. We got the Genie. I'm happy about that. Definitely happy with the Genie. So at least we got a new unit. That's always good. Lumi, I need some Lumi skill ups. I'll take that. She's actually very good too. She's very underrated as well. She's a very good unit. But I don't build her as attack. I build her very like tanky with some attack but more tanky than anything because of this um passive she has where she counterattacks and freezes so i use her more with hit percentage and hp that's just the way i like to use her okay 10 more guys 10 more i don't even think we need to, i think we have plenty of space too to finish up here mr vampire there he is and another shield guardian which is good I think we have enough space, right? So yeah, 10 and then 4 legendaries. Yeah, we have plenty of space, so we're good to go. Yeah, but don't judge me, guys, because I couldn't say... <laughs> you guys know how I am. I'm, I'm dyslexic, so some sometimes, like, I can say the words just... For some reason, like, I freeze up sometimes, and then I can't say certain words for, like, a, for like a little bit, but then later on, I'll be able to say it, no problem. It's just, it's just, I don't know. Can't explain it, but it's just the way I am. Okay, so here we go. Last time, we are up to, I think, 12 legendary summons with no 
Nah, five. This is that's our thirteenth. I was counting about the other day. Yeah, that's our thirteenth legendary summon without a Nat five. I mean, hey, again, we can't complain. We got three new, not three new, but three Nat fives and two hundred Mystics. But I feel like Mystic rates are like so much better than legendary rates, and it shouldn't be that way. Like legendary summons should be. Like, especially the way they praise them in this game. Like, when you beat Spire 500, you get a legendary summon. Like, you would think that they would be a little bit more, you know, on par, you know, for what they, you know, sell them and push them for. But it's not the case, guys. Not the case. After this, we're going to be on, like, 15 or 16 without a Nat 5 from a legendary summon. That is crazy to me. Should we save this one for last now? We're not going to get anything from it anyway. Let's just do it now and we'll end it with the LDs. It is what it is. I know how this game works, see? So that's like, yeah, we're literally up to like 16 legendary summons. So I don't even consider like legendary summons anything. Like, it's just, to me personally, I don't know if you guys, let me know in the comments if you guys feel the same way about legendary summons. But I never get, I never get that five from them, ever. I think on somebody's account the other day we got one from it but on my personal account that's like number 16 without getting anything so let's go over what we got so far so pretty much the mystics we always do super we, we do so good with mystics and that's pretty much it so thank god for the mystics thank god for our new genie that makes me very happy that's like the happiest thing that happened to me today so far in this game so it makes me want to keep grinding so at least something makes me want to keep grinding because you guys know the grind is definitely real Let's get to these LDs. I did buy the... I bought the $30 pack. I had... I had 8. And I bought the $30 pack, which gave me 10. I don't think this $70 pack is as good as it looks, to be honest with you. Because you're, you are losing out on, like, 2,400 gems for 30 bucks. And if you think about it, it's, it's really just... I don't know. It looks better. I feel like it looks better than what it is. Just my personal opinion. But hey, if you're a whale or a dolphin and you want to spend money, that is actually a good pack. Like LD wise, like if you want to spend money on LD summons, that is actually a decent pack to buy compared to other packs in the game. But you guys know you should never waste your money on LD on on LD summons and legendary summons. Don't ever waste your money on them. There's a gold. That's like our fourth Arthur. No, thank you. Why couldn't you give me Joan? Like why could you give me Joan? She's the last four starter that I'm missing. Like, you give me an early gold, yet you give me Arthur for like the 17th time. And Masashi. Masashi and Arthur, I've gotten like so many times. I'm so tired of pulling them. Like, thank you for the early gold. But why couldn't you give me Joan? Like, I, I would love to get a Joan. That would be, for me, getting a Joan would be like getting a Nat 5. I almost feel like we should just save these at this point. Just because I feel like we're not going to get another gold. That's just the way it is. But hey. It is what it is. We're here to do some summons. Summon, summon, summons. Now we're just going to pull Ripper over and over again. <laughs> you guys know the drill. Listen, if, if, if we pulled 49 from Mephistopheles and we couldn't get an LD Nat 5, I don't expect an LD Nat 5 anytime soon. That's just the way it is. Mr. Pirate. I need a couple skills for my pirate, so that's good. I'll take that. All right, five more. At least we got the genie. Hey, at least we got the genie. The Arthur is what it is. I really, I really wanted a Joan. I didn't want to say, but Joan is like my, probably my most wanted at this point, except for Mister, Mister, whatever his name is, Master. And that's funny. All those legendary summons that we couldn't. Yeah, I was really hoping to get it. Maybe we could do so. Oh, we could do some converting. We can always do a little bit of, we can do like a couple converts to see if we can pull him. That's an idea. Let's see how these LDs go first. Which I don't think we're getting another gold. You got, yeah, we're just getting Ripper over and over again. It's, it's so crazy how this game works. It's just like runes. LD summons are just like runes. <laughs> it's like you get the gold, but you, you don't really get the gold, you know what I mean? Like, it's one of those things. It's just so repetitive. So repetitive. I feel like these games, like, they don't need to be so, like, so tight with, like, how, like, rare these units are, you know? Like, I know they're supposed to be rare, but come on, 88. We got Loki in, like, our first 20 summons, which was very lucky. Very, very lucky. 
Are you talking we're up to 88 now? So it's like 68 summons. I feel like they're just really tight with their, you know, and how do you expect somebody to ever unlock Hades? Like, come on, realistically? That's why I didn't buy the, that's why I didn't buy the, um, the $70 pack and I bought the $30 pack because I knew it in the back of my head it would not be worth it. Thank God I was smart enough to, to know that. <laughs> no, I never spent. I don't spend big money in these games. I learned my lessons with Raid Shadow Legends. There you go. Once again, 10 summons, like 17 rippers. Literally, we just, I think we got ripper like every single time there. Let's see. I should have Mephistopheles doing my summons. I swear, I should have Meth. I think my next LD summons, I'm going to let Mephistopheles do them. One, two, three, four. Literally four rippers out of 10 and one gold which is normal because you figure one gold out of every i would say 12 to 13 summons you're supposed to get one gold so we got one gold and all rippers <laughs> pretty much i just why couldn't he be joan like you your light too is your light like why couldn't you just be joan i would have been through the roof to get genie and joan on the same summoning session i would have been so happy She's like, I always look at her too, and I'm like, I want her so bad. She really is good. She hits so hard. She hits like a truck. She's got an AoE attack down. She is really, really good. Like, if I couldn't get a Nat 5, she would be the next best thing that I would want. But as you can see, we have everything. I'll show you. I think I showed you in my last video, but I'll show you again. If you look here, we pretty much have everything except for Joan. Once we get Joan, then all we need is Nat 5s. Monkey King, Valkyrie, Mikhail, Lucifer. Dale Lord, which I feel like would be, I would have to spend like $20,000 to get that. <laughs> so that's never going to happen. Like, we look like we're close, like 16 out of 22. You would think like, oh, you're close, but no, 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 we're not close at all. We're not even, but I'm happy. I'm happy with my Eve. I'm happy with my genie. Very happy. I know I seem like I'm not happy, but I'm very happy. I promise you. We got a Dragoon. Oh, we can do some converting. That's right. We can do some converting. Let's see what, what do we want to convert here. We got a popo. We got a popo there. We got a popo here. We got this guy. Yeah, but my other one's not sanctified, so I don't really want to feed him. So who are we going to... All right, so we'll do the popo. We'll convert the popo. Dragoon, I'm definitely going to build a second one for Guild Wars. I already have a second popo. So let's convert to Popo. Let's see. Let's see if we can get lucky and get Mr. Um, whatever his name is. Master Tail or whatever his name is. I wonder if he's... Uh, he's definitely in the game, right? He's It'd be funny like if he was here, but he's not like released yet. Like you couldn't actually summon him. Yeah, Master Tail. That'd be pretty funny if I find out like later on. Like, oh, he's in the game, but you couldn't summon him until Friday. <laughs> Epic fail space balls at his best. Let me actually move all these rippers out of here. It's so funny. Ten summons and we get four of the same one, like over and over. Exactly why I do not buy LD packs. Even the ones that look good like that, like five LD summons, 70 bucks. Trust me. It looks better than what it is. And what really gets you is like when you see a new player start, he's like level 10. And he pulls like two back to back LD Nat 5s, and you like, you like, want to rip your hair out. You're like, oh, are you kidding me? He just pulled two Nat 5s. He's a level 10. I spent $700 and I still don't even have one. That's why I'm, I'm just so thankful to have my Loki. Like, you guys have no idea how thankful I am to have this man Loki. Trust me. Very thankful. Okay, so let's do some converting. Let's end this on a happy note. <laughs> Oh, convert. Here we go. Convert. Okay, so we got three, six, nine. We can do this three times. Depending on what we get here, is going to depend on if we keep going. So pretty much, depending on the dupe that we get, because we're most likely going to get a dupe. Now, if it's a dupe, I want to keep converting. We'll keep going. But if it's a dupe I want to keep, then we're going to keep it, obviously. So wish me luck. Let's hope for the Mr. Master Teo. I would really like a Master Tarot that would make me so very happy, Calibria. Don't you want to make Spaceballs happy? But here we go. I'm going to close my eyes for this one. Bye, Mr. Popo. I will see you later. Here we go. 
Wish baseball's luck. There it is. What do we get? Another succubus. <laughs> you guys know that I have like six succubuses at this point. I just have I have so many succubuses. You guys know that. I mean, I could sank you. I sank. I could sanctify some of the succubuses I have, but I have two that are sanctified already. Both of these are sanctified. And where are the other two? And we have these two here. So I think we can go again, especially now that they fixed her passive. She's not as broken as she used to be. We can try again. Okay, let's try again. Let's try one more time. Come on. Come on, Calibri. Give me the new unit for once. Make it up to me. Make up all this bad RNG that you've been giving me. Make it up to me. Make Spaceballs happy. Good luck, Spaceballs. What is it, guys? What is it? Am I going to be happy or am I going to be upset? <laughs> going to be upset, that's for sure. Do I keep this lean? I don't really use Celine. I don't, the only reason I kept her is because I don't think my Celine is sanctified. So let's see. If she's sanctified, I'm probably just going to go again. And yeah, she's sanctified, so maybe. Should we try one more time? Should we press our luck one more time? Yeah, why not? Let's do it one more time. We got nothing to lose. Hey, we got nothing to lose at this point. Want Noctora or Master Tail? Calibria, please. And that's going to end it for this one. Right after we do this, guys, I'm going to end this one. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for the support. If we don't have a giveaway going on because I just posted the winners to our 700 sub giveaway. But make sure you guys are subbed, liking, and commenting on the videos because Tuesday morning we're going to be doing the random giveaway. And it's going to be the biggest personal prize Spaceballs has ever given out. So you definitely want to be a part of that one. So definitely make sure you're doing those things. So right after this, this is going to end it. So wish me luck. Come on. Give us Master Tail. Please give us Master Tail. I'll even take a Noctora. Please. You, the luck has been so bad lately. Except for the Genie. Except for the Genie. But other than that, the luck has not really been on Spaceballs' side. Especially when it comes to converting. Legendaries, LDs, and runes. It's just like a slap in my face, left and right. So here we go. Please. Master Teo, please. Is it Master Teo? <sighs> Garuda. Now, do I keep the Selene? Oh, I can sanctify my Garuda. I'm going to take the Garuda. Because I can sanctify my other Garuda, which will give him a higher attack. Because I, I have been using him. So we'll take the Garuda, but definitely not happy with that. But that's okay. But as always, guys, Space Balls loves you guys. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate everything. I'll see you in the next one. Space Balls out. Peace.